Allison Ballow. I'm director of the Birkenfield Public Library. We're so excited to have you come in and join us when the time is right and things are much safer. But in the meantime, why don't we go inside and some of the library staff will show you around. Hi everyone, my name is Christy and I work at the reference desk of the library. I wanted to just give you a little quick tour of the reference staff office. So this is where I work, another reference librarian, Bill works in this corner, Diane works here, and our head of adult services, John, works at that corner desk. This is where, whenever we're not at the reference desk, library staff are doing other tasks. Behind the reference desk of the library, we do have a local New Jersey history section. These books can all be checked out with your library card, and these will be helpful when you get to high school and you might have a history project on local New Jersey history. And towards the back of the library here, we have four quiet study rooms. They do look a little bit different now since we are not currently open, but once you are in high school and the library is open for service, you can use these study rooms to do homework and study after school. We do have other little cubicles ready for studying. Again, they look a little bit different now that we are closed and in terms of social distancing. And back here, we have reference books. So none of these books can be checked out of the library. This is meant for research in the library. So if you ever have an assignment, you can take a look at these books, but you can't actually take them home. And if you follow me down this way, these computers here are all for searching the catalog. So if you have something on the shelf and you wanted to see if you do own the copy or request it, these would, are what you would do. This here is the reference desk of the library. Most times you'll see only one or two librarians sitting here. If you have any questions, we're here to answer them. We can help you find library books, help you find research. And right now, since we are closed, you can get in touch with us by phone, by email, or by chatting with us on the website. The reference desk, we do have public computers. Right now, we only have two available, and we're hoping that we can add a few more once the library reopens. Um, to abide by social distancing regulations. The reference desk also can help you find video games. If there's anything you're looking for, we have several video games here. You can always call us and request them now that we are closed or order them online. We also have a big DVD and Blu-ray collection on the other side. We have magazines on this side of the library that are down there. There are playaways and audiobooks if you're interested. We have all of our fiction books on the left hand side or your right hand side and then over here we have all of our new fiction books and we're just going to keep walking down and we'll see the rest of the books. We have quite a few or a lot of fiction books here. Alright and now we are coming up to the non-fiction section. So these books here you can find test prep books that'll be useful when you're in high school. And on the other side, we have some of the newer nonfiction books. So follow me upstairs, I'll show you the little mezzanine area. In this whole back wall, the Friends of the Library has a book sale. Here we put books that are no longer on our shelves and you can purchase them and all the money goes back to the Friends of the Library. They buy or they help us fund some of our projects at the library. And then on the other side, we have some other books. There are mangas, graphic novel, we have books in Korean, we have books in Filipino, and Spanish books towards the end. Hi, my name is Lois. Uh, I'm the head of circulation here at the Bourbonfield Public Library. Uh, normally, this is where you would check your items in and also where you would return your items at the return desk. Right now we are only offering curbside service, so you would order your items online. We scan them when they come in and we put them here on the hold shelves. Then when you call for curbside, we check them out to you through the online system and we put them in bags. And when you come here, you call us and we put them out on the table 
outside for you to pick up. Hi everyone, Mr. Bob here. Welcome to the Young Adult Room. Now this is the room you're going to come to when you're in grades 7 through 12. So middle school, high school, and beyond if you want. We have our new books over here. So if you don't know what to read, come on in and say, Mr. Bob, I need a book. And I will probably bring you over here and show you the new cool stuff. We always have books on display if you can't make up your mind. And if you know what you want, come in and say, Mr. Bob, I need, and then I will come and help you find what you want. And when everything's back to normal, this is also where we have all the cool fun. Because we have an activity room, we have board games, we have video games. Right now we have empty cupboards, but that's only because of the pandemic. Once everything goes back to normal, it'll be a lot more fun. Can't wait to see you. Hello, my name is Miss Joanne, and I work in the Youth Services Department. Miss Jen and I are part of the Youth Services Department. The end. Hi friends, I'm Miss Kara. I'm the head of youth services here at the library. Uh, this is the children's room. Normally we would have a lot of tables and chairs here where you could come after school and do homework or hang out with friends. Um, we hope to have that back sometime soon. This is the desk where you normally would ask us some questions. We can help you find books or movies or help you find some answers to your homework. Behind me, we have our nonfiction section and the big three shelf right there. And then wrapping around the wall are all of the novels. Graphic novels are right here. And behind the graphic novels, we have CDs. Then we have our reader section. That's for grades one and two, sometimes three, depending on where you are with your reading level. And then we have our DVD section along the wall. And we're gonna take a walk up the stairs to show you the picture book section. Up here we have our picture books. So through all of these shelves here are all of our picture books. We do have some, some parent shelf or homework help books on the top there. And we have our board books right over here. Those are for little ones. And over here we have our Spanish language books. We also have some books in French, Hebrew, Korean, and usually we have Filipino books here too, but they're all checked out right now. Hi, I'm Miss Jen. I work in administration. We take care of all the behind the scenes stuff like bills and paying for things and ordering supplies. And while I have you here, I want to introduce you to a very special guest who you will sometimes see on our social media. Kenzie! Come here, Kenzie! This is Kenzie, our black lab, who comes to visit. Hi, I'm Miss Selena, and I work in the children's room of the library. This is the ESL hallway, where adults can learn English as a second language. Normally, classes are held in a one-on-one -on -one or group setting, However, all the classes are online right now. Hi, this is the tech services room. When books, movies, and games come into the library, they have to be processed and put into the catalog before you can check them out. This is where this takes place. Once that process has been completed, you can feel free to check them out and take them home. Well, friends, that's it. You've seen the whole library. Thank you for joining us on this tour. We hope that you can join us in person again soon.